Hey, this is Atlas here, and today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down a song called Earth from the Berserk original soundtrack. Boom! Is that supposed to uh, simulate fauna? Like birds chirping or something? Because I think it's actually a synthesizer that's pretty cool. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Ooh. The bagpipes, dude. God. And the celestial paths in the background. I I love this track already. This is amazing. And the ba the the pads taking presence again. No, no, no. The addition of the backpipes is just fantastic. No, that would build up was insane. I don't even know how to play the backpipes. I don't know how to, to do, how to do air backpipes. No pun intended. Like something like this? This is fantastic. No, don't end, don't end. Oh, mate. Oh, my God. No, no, this, no. Playlist. Playlist 100%. And I am going to add this to my Spotify playlist as fast as I can, because now this o OST is available on Spotify. So let's break it down. I think this song is on par or sometimes even beyond 
God's theme in terms of its powerful storytelling, its emotional charge, and, you know, the less is more approach. And to expand a little bit further about the less is more approach, I would say that it basically means that the less layers that you have, the less instruments that you have, the less distractions that you have, and the more simple and more to the core, to the message, to the story that you get with uh, fewer elements, the more the song becomes about those little nuances and expressions that we hear in each and every one of the instruments involved, which are few, and we can really grasp more and hear and internalize even more. I would say that this song is like 75% a new age track and the remaining will be something like ambient trance or something like that. We have the absolutely beautiful celestial, you know, lush synthesizer pads that are doing the uplifting chord progression. You know, we have the effects of the birds chirping and tweeting at the beginning of a song. It follows the premise of the title of a song which is Earth, and it's kind of giving you the signal of a world that is brim with beauty in the fauna and flora of it. Now I have to say that the female vocals performance was outstanding. The way how she opens the theme with that vibrato, it just broke me. And to speak briefly about the vibrato, it's basically a performance technique that you can hear uh, on singers and, you know, all sorts of instruments in which you hear a note sound like kind of wobbly, you know? So it, it, instead of listening as to a sustained load like this, like, ah, uh, you will hear this, the notes sound like, ah, uh, you see, it sounds kind of wobbly. Of course, I'm not a singer, but that's kind of an example. So this kind of performance dynamics really add an emotional charge to what you're playing. And you know what? It's actually kind of reminiscent to the performance we hear in God's theme, but in this case, it's more of a above lifting thing. I also have to say that I tend to like this kind of performances because it's stripped from choirs and from harmonies. It's just about the voice. So they are like the utmost pure form of expression. It's very, very intimate. Then on top of that, we have the bagpipe leads that, you know, continue elaborating the phrase of a theme. And this instrument suits itself so well for medieval epics and fantasy worlds. It's just the character and the timbre of the instrument that, you know, just oozes European culture and mythology. However, the most surprising part is the last section of the song where we hear the drum samples come in and the track transforms in sort of an ambient trance song. In this particular section, we can hear the chord progression changes a little bit to add darker chords into the mix and it increases a little bit the tension dynamic that there is in the track. I will say that it is also the climax of the song because it's where we hear all the layers amount to an apotheosic celebration of life. So I think I'm gonna give this song, uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to, oh, well, what I'm gonna give an ass tier. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, check this other Berserk breakdown that I did. And if you would like to support my work further, you can check the support section in the description of this video, or you can find my Patreon and all the other links, right? Thank you very much.